Uh, one of the things about the Cyclone offense, when it gets going at its best, is when the tempo is really up and the pace is good. And that's what we talked about this week in our Cyclone Audible as we visit with Bill Blyle and Kelechi Semele. Once they get conditioned, they really enjoy it. They like to go fast. Uh, you know, we practice at a fast tempo. Go. We really like to try and get a lot of reps in in, the, in a short amount of time. And, and when you practice at that pace, then they get in condition to do that in the game. Ready. We try to be like the most conditioned team in America, and um, it's just it's a challenge. But once you get rolling, once you practice fast, you play fast, so you just get used to it. It's just everything kind of just messes. We have one guy in Ben Lamont. He he controls it all. He's gonna identify where we're going. He tries to, as we say, match the carpet with the curtains and uh, make sure everybody's going to the right person. And and uh, he can he essentially just directs traffic. Communication has to happen fast. The calls have to come fast. We have to see where we're going. If somebody's not in a gap, then it messes everything up because, I mean, on defense, one player can just be at the right place and make the play. But on offense, everybody has to be together for the play to even happen. So everybody just kind of has to get the call, run their tracks. When nobody's online, you got to kind of zone the air and, um, you know, just that type of thing. Everybody just has to be uh, moving at the same pace. The product is that we're faster than the opponent, and uh, many times they'll come off and say, hey, let's keep jetting them, let's keep tempo on them, and, and uh, when we get them to that point, we're using ha usually having success, and, and it's a good feeling. When we know they're tired and we're driving down the field, we just got to try to finish drives and step on their throat and just get the job done. They're going to go quick. Yes, they are. Our nod under center. It's a sneak, and he's grinding away for five yards. Well, they caught Northern Illinois napping that time. They were not ready. When I see their hands on their hips, I know they're done for. I start licking my chops a little bit, uh, try to get on a little highlight reel a little bit, try to make something happen. There was nobody there very well blocked. They're fun to be around. They want to learn and, and they want to be good. They want to do things right. Uh, you know, they, they're sponge and we, we feed them and they, they absorb. They're, they're really good people. They just keep striving to get better every day. They're great. They really are, you know, as all the kids are here. And it is noticeable, Coach, isn't it, that when you get that tempo going, that's when the offense really moves. It is. We refer to it as jet tempo, trying to, trying to get to the line of scrimmage fast and, and, and get the ball snapped and let, not let a defense uh, catch their breath or, or get themselves set. And, and uh, it starts with the offensive line. The offensive line has to be ready to go and, and provide a, a physical lift, and, and uh, KO does that in the leadership of that offensive line. And y you can't always do it, though. It's not something you can do every play throughout the game. No, because you've got to be settled yourself at times, and, and, and you can wear your, your own self out when you do that. And, and even though we go jet tempo, that doesn't mean we're always going to snap it fast. We, we, by hurrying up to the line, though, we, we create something of, of a panic for the defense and, and then put us in a position to, to get in the best possible call for what we see from the box. All right, well